Welcome to Digital System Design using Verilog Lectures. In this video, let us discuss combinational logic. Combinational circuit is the circuit where the output will be depend on the present inputs. You can see in the block diagram here, there are n inputs. If you apply those n inputs to the combinational logic, it will give m outputs. m outputs can be a single output or multiple outputs. Similarly, inputs can be a single inputs or multiple inputs. But here the thing is that the output will be depend on the present inputs what we are going to apply. If we are going to change the inputs at that particular time, output will also be changed. Here the main building block of this combinational logic or combinational circuit is that logic gates. We are going to use logic gates to construct the circuit. And here the logical function is performed by the circuit is fully defined by set of Boolean expressions. Depending on those expressions, the logic is going to be evaluated. And the example for this combinational circuit is that half adder, full adder, or multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoder, decoder are the examples here for combinational circuit. And one thing we need to remember is that combinational circuit will not be having any feedback or memory element. And if you look at the general logic sequence, this is how it goes. First, we need to define the problem statement for what functionality we are supposed to write or constructing a logic circuit. That is the problem statement. Once the problem statement is defined, we need to construct the truth table for that. What is truth table means? For different set of combination of inputs, what would be the output will be? What should be the output is? That is the truth table. And looking at the truth table, we need to write the Boolean expressions. That is switching expressions. Once we write those equations or expressions, we need to simplify those to the simplest form using different methods. After the simplification, for that expressions or equations, we need to write the logic diagram using logic gates. Once the logic diagram is written, that gives the logic circuit for the particular problem statement. This is how the sequence followed for any logic design. And coming to the logic circuits, there are two types. We need to understand the difference between a combinational logic circuit and a sequential logic circuit. As I said in the previous slide, combinational circuit is one which output will be depends only on the present inputs. In sequential circuit, the output will be depending on the previous outputs also. Means in the uh, diagram you can see here, in sequential circuit, we will be having a memory element. That will be given back, the output will be given back as input to the combinational circuit. With that we will be having memory element. This is sequential circuit. But in the combinational circuit you can see only logic gates and the circuit present within this combinational logic block. In sequential circuit with that a memory element is there that will be helpful in remembering the previous outputs. So we say combinational logic circuit is consisting of only logic gates and sequential circuits consisting of memory elements with those logic gates. And output of the combinational logic will be depending on the present inputs and output of the sequential circuit will be depending on the previous outputs and the present inputs also. This is all about combinational and sequential circuits introduction. In the next video, let us see the combinational circuits and sequential circuits design. Thank you.